where the activities of terrorists in the past few weeks have left many questions unanswered as Nigerians continue to live in fear. And with that in mind, the leadership of the Senate earlier today held a closed-door session with heads of security agencies over the disturbing trend of insecurity in the country. During the meeting, President of the Senate, Ahmad Lawan, described the situation as frightening, stating that a lot more needs to be done. He said the worrying situation has caused a sharp decline in the economy as the country is unable to attract foreign direct investment and the oil sector is failing due to oil theft. In his response, the chief of defense staff said issues of security must be seen from a collective perspective as the military remains committed to finding a lasting solution. He insists a lot has already been done to ensure they improve on the security architecture of the country and no stone will be left unturned in ensuring the safety of lives and properties. In attendance at the meeting was the Chief of Defense Staff, the Inspector General of Police, Controller General of the Civil Defense, Director General of the National Intelligence Agency, and the Director General of the Department of State Services. And uh, in a related development, the Inspector General of Police, Usman al Khali Baba, has ordered massive deployment of additional police operatives and operational assets within the FCT. The IGP gave the order during the force management team's meeting at his office while receiving general security updates on the nation. According to a statement from the force headquarters, the move is to solidify security and protect lives, property of residents, critical national assets and vulnerable facilities as well as road users plying route in and around the FCT. The IGP also cautioned members of the public on the dangers of spreading false alarms, misinformation and disinformation as they could be detrimental to national security.